Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to morning prayer live from. Open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, Creator of all. To you be praise and glory forever. As your dawn renews the face of the earth, bringing light and life to all creation, may we rejoice in this day you have made. Refreshed from the depths of sleep, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Night has passed and the day lies open before. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. We continue with our daily readings from the Bible Society's Bible course that our home groups are working through at the moment. An overview of the whole Today we can Exodus and chapter 20. God gives the Ten Commandments to Moses. And God spake all these words. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. You shall have no gods before me. You shall not make for yourself an image in the form of anything in heaven above, or on the earth beneath, or in the waters below. You shall not bow down to them or worship them, for I, the Lord, am a jealous God, punishing the children for the sin of the parents, to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me, but showing love to a thousand generations of those who love me and keep my commandments. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God, for the Lord will not hold anyone guiltless who misuses his name. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy Six days you shall labour and do all your work, but the seventh is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. On it you shall not do any work, neither you nor your son or daughter, nor male or female servant, nor your animals, nor any foreigner residing in your towns. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is in them, but he rested on the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. Honour your father and your mother, so that you may live long in the land your God is giving you. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbour. You shall not covet your neighbour's house. You shall not covet your neighbour's wife, or his male or female servant, his ox or donkey, or anything that belongs to your neighbour. Amen. God's word to us today from the book of Exodus, chapter 20, the Ten Commandments.
the thought of laws and rules may be one of the things that turn a lot of people away from the Christian faith. And in fact, the Christian church in times, in times through history have maybe set them up as God's police officers of pointing out the wrong in others. This is all the wrong way round. The Bible and Christianity are all about God's love for us, for you. When we come to God in faith, we are forgiven of all the rules we've ever broken. And it's our gratitude for this in which we begin our journey to live the life that God desires for us. This is the same with the Old Testament law, including the Ten Commandments. God loves Israel. He has already saved them from slavery in Egypt through the parting of the Red Sea. And they are now journeying towards the land he promised to give them. It is in this context of love that God gives them the Ten Commandments as a first outline of how to live as God's people, God's family. Just as parents give their children rules because they love them, because they want to keep them safe and help them flourish, so God gives us his law. So I want to encourage us all today to come to God, to receive his love and the forgiveness of our sins. And in that context of love, live more and more as God would have us live, as his family, as his children, as his people. Let's have a moment of quiet as we apply the word of God to ourselves this morning. Let us pray. Lord God, our Father, we thank you for your law to us in the Bible. We thank you, Lord, that you sent Jesus to die for us, to save us from our sins. Help us, Lord, to come to you today and receive your love for us. Help us to come in repentance, to receive your forgiveness. Lord God, help us to live today and every day more and more like the people you would wish to have, like the children you would wish to have. And thank you, Lord, that you help us every step of this road. Lord God, you know that there are are many laws and restrictions that have been placed on us by our government at this time to stem the flow of coronavirus in our communities. We pray, Lord, that you would help us to make sense of these rules. We pray, Lord, that you would help us keep them. We pray, Lord, that through our actions, we can keep one another safe as we go about our lives. Lord God, we lift before you our leaders. We lift before you all who work in healthcare. We lift before you all those for whom keeping these rules will be a struggle. Lord God, we pray for strength in our community and communities throughout the UK to care for one another. Lord, in your mercy, 
Hear our prayer. The Collect, the Church's prayer for this week. Almighty and everlasting God, increase in us your gift of faith, that forsaking what lies behind and reaching out to what is before, we may run the way of your commandments and win the crown of everlasting joy. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Thank you all for joining us this morning. Please do join us for worship this coming Sunday. There will be a service at 9.30 here at St Anne's and in St Mary's at Norton Cookney. The service from here at St Anne's will be live streamed on the Facebook page. Then at St Anne's in the afternoon at four o'clock, there will be our Children's Church Ignite in the hall and our cafe church, St Anne's at four here in the church. St Anne's at four will be available online also. Hope you can join us either in person or online. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. 